Look, there's an abandoned fountain outside the gate. There must have been an underground spring here before. And now there's a whole mountain of gold inside. We really found the treasure. Now we just need to open the gate. They have an unusual lock. Let's try to find a way to open them. I haven't had any luck finding a way to open the gate. How about...
Shannon, quick, come here. Look at how much gold there is. We're rich. Oh no, what's happening to me? I'm losing my human form. It's a curse. Shannon, save yourself before it takes you down. Shannon, why did you come back alone? Where's Liam? Something strange is going on around here. We need to talk to the Baron about what's going on quickly. There's an unusual mechanism on the castle gate, but it looks like some parts are missing. Will you help me find them? We can work as a team to find them more quickly. Its scream is dangerous, but how can we stop it? Don't worry. The Banshee doesn't want to harm you. Give her back the missing parts of her soul and uncover her story. There was a young seamstress named Sinead who lived in the old city. Her family was poor, but the girl's hard work made her beautiful. A local count fell in love with her and decided to marry her, no matter the cost. Without asking their daughter, Sinead's happy parents agreed to the marriage. But Sinead was in love with Oscar, a poor local shoemaker. On the day of the wedding, she received a letter from him. Oscar wrote that he found out where the leprechaun's gold was, and he was going in search of it. He would find the treasure to become wealthy and respected. 
Then, he and Sinead could finally be together. Sinead ran from the wedding to find her beloved, but at their meeting place, she found only a single gold coin. She waited for Oscar for ages, but he never came. Distraught, Sinead cried bitterly. She did this for so long that she didn't even notice the moment she turned into a banshee. My name is Sinead. Thank you for what you did. I'll gladly help you in return. You're going after the leprechaun's treasure, but the way is very dangerous. My beloved Oscar went searching for it too, but he never returned. The Baron had a book with legends about gold in his secret library. He said it was written by the She themselves. Perhaps it can help you protect yourselves. All of his most important documents are in a silver safe. I'm sure you'll find a clue about how to enter the library inside. The castle's falling apart just like the rest of the city. Something truly horrible must have happened here. Did you help the Banshee and talk to her? Well, let's search the castle and find this library. Maybe whatever's inside can tell us about both the gold and what happened in the city. I'll go search the other rooms while you look here.
haven't found anything. Have you had more luck? Let's see. Yes, this passage leads to the library. Come on, Shannon. Great, this is it. While I was searching the castle, I found this sheet. Look, the leprechaun's gold is painted here, and it seems like someone tore it from the book you mentioned. I think the book we're looking for is on the wooden stand. We just need to open it. creatures. Shannon, step aside or they'll grab you. Shannon, run! I'll hold them off. What's Sinead doing here? Is she waiting for me? Oh, I'm sorry that something so awful happened to your friends. 
I don't know how to stop this magic, but when Oscar went off in search of the gold, he told me about an ancient oak tree in the depths of the forest. He believed that was the location of the leprechaun's treasure. I'll take you there. Maybe you'll find information on how to help your friends where this all began. That's it. This is where we go our separate ways. There's nothing more I can do. <laughs> but, you know, Shannon, my intuition tells me that the ancient magic of the she is behind all this. I really loved reading stories about them when I was a human. I read that long ago, the she and humans married. I thought they were just fairy tales, but now I see that's true. You have she-blood in you. That's why the guardian spirit in your bracelet helps you, and why magic and curses don't work on you. I hope you manage to save your friends. Good luck, and farewell. Is it a leprechaun gold, or just another trap? This treasure is mine! Your companion has already paid for trying to steal it! Now it's your turn! Don't worry. I won't let you get hurt. Give the Leprechaun back the good parts of his soul, and I'll tell you his story. Oscar managed to find the treasure, and he decided to join Sinead, not as a poor shoemaker, but as a respectable gentleman. He began to spend the gold on new clothes and precious gifts for his future bride. Oscar had a kind soul and shared gold with everyone who needed it. But he soon realized that his generosity brought trouble with it. Everyone who touched the gold turned into a magical creature. Oscar suspected that the gold was cursed, and he would be the one to contain it. Oscar tried to protect people by returning pieces of the treasure where he found it, but he couldn't escape the curse. The more Oscar touched the gold, the more it consumed him. And in trying to protect others, he turned into a leprechaun himself. Now you know the truth. The she hid the gold here and put a curse on it to punish humans for their greed. Those who held the gold lost their human forms, and turned into magical creatures. 
You can only break the curse by giving up false wealth and opening your soul to the true treasure of love and kindness. If you have the courage, you must fill the gold with the pure light of the moon and cast it into the abyss without keeping a single coin for yourself. Shannon, you have the blood of the she. You can break the curse and return all the enchanted creatures to their true forms. Thank you for bringing back the good part of my soul. Now I remember everything. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Please, help me fix everything. There's a mountain cliff behind this clearing. We used to believe that there was a passage to the She World on it. That's where you can get rid of the gold. I should keep my distance, as the gold still has power over me. But take this. I found it at the mountain cliff. Perhaps it will help you. Good luck.
It's time to end the curse for good. Gold doesn't bring true happiness. Go back where you belong. It worked! The curse is broken! It's over. We're humans again. We're humans! Darling, is it really you? I thought I'd never see you again. We're finally together again. Please, forgive me. Shannon, you saved my life and all those people. I've never met anyone like you. At first, I just saw that you were a good person, and knowing about your family's plight, I offered to help by marrying you. But now, everything has changed, and I've fallen in love with you. Nothing would make me happier than for you to be my wife. But if that's not what you want, I won't force you. I love you, and I want you to be happy, even if you don't return my feelings. I want to remain your faithful friend. Shannon, you saved us. Thank you. I used to think I knew you, but I didn't see what an amazing person you are. Brave, smart, and kind. I must confess... I love you. I went on a journey to find gold, but I found a real treasure instead. I don't want to leave your side, and I'd be overjoyed if you felt the same way. But I see that Patrick also cares for you. Whatever you choose, I won't stand in your way. I'd be happy to just remain your friend. I am happy for you both. I don't regret anything. This journey changed my life, and I found true friends. I can't believe how much better I feel. Thank you. I'm so glad my health has returned, but I'm even happier that you found your true treasure, love. <laughs>